Upon arriving at the site, all second site employees should be dressed professionally and have all of their PPE attire. Safety glasses, hard hat, work boots, steel toe when applicable, work pants. Upon arriving at the site, the site should be scanned to ensure no safety hazards, no uh, safety hazards, no down power lines, nothing in the way as to where you would be stepping or working. You want to verify the meter ID and make sure that it matches the meter ID on the account or the address that we are here to perform the maintenance on. For the purposes of this video, all the new modules that will be replaced have been pre-programmed. The work order would have identified the reason we are here. Either the module is not transmitting or uh, perhaps the signal that is sending out has an invalid reading. We always test the module either way to see if the module is transmitting. And in this case, this one is not. Had it been, there would have been a light that flashed on this tool called a buster, and there would have been a beeping noise as that. Typically, there are tamper seals that are included in each module to prevent tampering. In the event that you encounter those, uh, you will use a tool called an awl to remove them. This meter is called an American. Pay attention to the style of the meter. This is an American module. So we remove the cover. We're pulling back the pins that hold the index stable. Index reading is observed one, zero, zero, zero. The constant or programming foot drive is two foot. We'll inspect the index to make sure that all the gears are aligned, no damage to the index. Looks good. We'll check the meter drive. Looks good. In this case with this one, the reason it was not transmitting because the battery isn't in there. Sometimes you'll encounter that in the field uh, where the module has been tampered with, battery has been removed. You observe the module drive, pins are fine. You should hear that click clack noise on the meter drive. That lets you know that that meter is in good shape. When you close out the work order, you'll comment appropriately as to what you observe with this module, which basically what you would probably comment in this situation is uh, possible tampering. Battery has been removed. You remove, you'll pull out your new module. In this case, this module on this project is called an M110. You wanna ensure that there's a good seal between the gasket on the new module and the face of the meter. So you're gonna use what's called a brass scraper. Scrape any old gasket residue off. You always wanna use a brass scraper. Reason being, you don't wanna spark. Uh, you know, you are dealing with gas. And you use the brush just to clear off any additional residue. Good. You always want to be mindful that this is, you know, a private owner's property, so make sure you don't leave any trash on the scene. Uh, I usually put my trash back in my work bag.
So remember, this module has already been pre-programmed. Um, battery has not been plugged in as of yet. We will do that though. We're gonna connect the index directly to the meter. So the back of this index drive, as you can see, has a little device that plugs into what's unofficially known as the wiggler. So the male part should fit right into the eye of that needle. Hold this out the way so we don't have a tripping hazard. That's good. Looks like that should fit perfectly. Now. This index has plastic hands. This magnet wheel is only suitable for American style indexes where the pointers or hands as we call them are made of plastic. So we want to fix this magnet wheel onto this hand by sliding it over the hand, over the pointer. The round back end of the pointer takes a black peg. If this back end is shaped, uh, as they would say, like a guitar, you would use the gray peg. As you can see, hopefully in the video, those two arms of that peg are spread out. That, that's what locks it in place. You wanna make sure that this little piece has been removed so that it doesn't cause any drag or any interference with the half foot drive. Do a little test wiggle, make sure it's on there, looks good. Be careful with this. This can be a little tricky. Uh, what I recommend to most individuals is use a magnetic driver. If there was snow on the ground and you dropped that, you'd be in pretty bad shape. This module has a programming port where you will use what's called a pigtail to program the module to marry it to this meter ID and said address. Once that is done, you plug this battery up and that would basically wake the module up. I'm putting the cover on the module. You always want to ensure that it gets a good seal. The best way to ensure that is you tighten it up. Angle to angle.
Some manufacturers require a torque driver to torque the module cover down to a specific pressure. In this case, the manufacturer requires 12 to 12.5 torque pressure, which as you can see, this is not a torque driver. After completing this install, you would then include the tamper seals to prevent any tampering. You'd use your buster to bust it to make sure the module is awoke and that it is transmitting the signal to the MCC. And at that point, it will transmit this read that has been programmed to this meter ID and this module, which is married to this meter ID. And you've just completed your first American meter module install. We'll be going on to Sprague and Rockwell next.